2006 on an 06 Ford Fiesta ST. Lovely in bright blue, this one. Nice standard spec car, standard wheels, standard ride height, all that sort of stuff. We're going to start by having a good look at the bodywork. If we look down this driver's side, you can see it's lovely and straight all the way down there. It's not full of ripples or dents. Starting on the driver's front wing, there's no signs of any stone, chumps, so, uh, stone chips on the front edge here. Lovely and neat across the top. No real marks at all to whinge about on that. Inside the arch, it's clean and tidy all the way around. There's no sign of any corrosion or anything bubbling away there. Nice condition, standard spec. Alloy wheels, loads of meat left on the tread, on the tyres. In fact, actually, we've still got the little hairs on the tyres there as well. Continuing down this side, up the A-pillar, there's no signs of any stone chips or anything up there. All the plastics along the scuttle are nice and neat. Corners of the windscreen are good. Up onto the roof is nice and neat. If we're being really picky, there's a... In fact, actually, that's a bit of... Let's not wiping our spray off properly. Ignore that. Yeah, lovely and neat all the way across the roof. No ripples, no dents. No sign of any stone chips along the front edge or anything like that. All nice and clean on the glass. There's no nasty aftermarket tints or any ingrained scratching or anything like that. All good around the wing mirror. All the plastics are nice. This is good along this seal here. Driver's door. No marks at all to whinge about on there. Lovely and neat. Sticker pack's nice and bright and straight. Seal cover is good all the way along. And normally you find quite a large amount of stone chips down this section here where it starts to flare out on the arch, but this one's all good. Inside the arch is sharp all the way around. And again, normally you find a bit of bubbling in this area here where it meets the plastic of the bumper, but this one's all good. Another good wheel and tire. Can have another look back up the car from here. Again, nice and straight all the way up. You can see it normally by that body line there. It's lovely and crisp all the way up. Really nice flat panels there. Round on the back, tail lights on both sides are bright and clear. Reflectors down the bottom are good. The exhaust sits nice and straight as does the bumper. Tailgate, there's no marks to whinge about there. No marks on the bumper where things have been lifted in and out of the boot or on the corners, that's all good. Rear screen's nice and clear as well. Rear spoiler's good. Always nice about that little ST touch on the corner there. We can have another look at the roof from up here. As you can see, lovely and clean. Round up the passenger side. Nice straight line all the way down there, lovely and clean. Normally you find some scratching around that keyhole, but this one's all good. Inside the arch there, lovely and sharp all the way around. Another good wheel and tire. No marks to whinge about on that rear quarter. And again, normally you can find a little bit of corrosion bubbling up from behind the body kit, but on this one, it's all good. Sticker pack's good on this side as well, as is the passenger door. There's not really any marks at all to whinge about. Lovely, clean, honest car. There's a lot of scruffy ones of these around. This one is definitely not that category. Nice and neat all the way around. Plastics on this side are good. It's one very small mark there. It's a stone chip by the door on the body line. Very, very, very tiny. Just worth pointing it out. Nice and neat on the inside of the arch all the way around there as well. And your final good wheel and tyre. Round on the front and unusually for one of these, the headlights don't need polish. They're nice and clear, as are the fog lights below. We've got two little stone chips on the bumper there. One there, one there, and a couple of very minor ones on the bonnet. The rest of the bonnet, lovely and neat. It's easily one of the cleanest STs I've seen in a long, long time. Best colour as well. Moving on to the interior. All good on the door card. No real wear at all on the, on the armrest. Quite often these can fade and go white, but they're all good. Driver's seat's in lovely condition. No wear at all. The bolsters, they're nice and firm. They're still quite satin. They're not overly shiny from use. And the cloth centres are lovely. Little bit of wear on the steering wheel, but nothing more than you'd expect for the age and the mileage. Mileage is 92,330 on this one. It's a nice sensible mileage. We'll pop the boot while we're here. Normally that electric release doesn't work. It does on this one. This one's got air con, manual gearbox obviously, and the larger stereo. So it's got this, the AUX player and all that sort of stuff. The backs of the seats are good. They're not stretched out or pulled. Really nice and tidy in the back there. Headlining's lovely and clean. And then into the boot, that's probably why the mats are so clean under there. There's a set of aftermarket mats that have been kept with the car, obviously been used properly as well. Then under the boot floor, nice and clean under there. No sign of any trap moisture or anything like that. Backs of the seats are good. With these being exposed and quite shiny, normally they get scratched and grazed, but these ones are lovely. Parcel shelves good. And then passenger side again, nice and tidy on the door card. 
see how satin that leather is. I mean, it's really shiny from use, but it's really, really nice. Nice and firm on the bolsters, the beading and the stitching all the way around is good. This side of the dash is nice. I do like this shape ST with the blue dash. It's quite cool. Really nice and clean and tidy in there. Obviously been well cared for. We haven't pulled the bonnet, so we're not going to be able to show you in there. It's always quite tricky to do with one hand on those because you've got to pull the release and lift the bonnet at the same time. So excuse the dodgy camera work, we'll get that pinned up. And it's the same story as the rest of the car in here, lovely and clean and tidy. Doesn't look to be modified anyway, nice and standard. We'll get it fired up. Just need that running for a second there, sure there's no warning lights on. We've got the yellow light on for my door being open, so we'll shut the door. Bonnet open, and obviously fuel light, but other than that, no warning lights on there. Ticking over nice and happy. I'm going to shut that bonnet quickly and just show you that light going out. If we go around the back, there's no nasty steam or smoke coming out the back there. Ticking over nice and happy. And again, like I say, no warning lights, just the light on for fuel. So there you have it. 2006 on an 06 Ford Fiesta, uh, yeah, Ford Fiesta ST. Any questions at all, please get in touch. Thank you.